street food at Yokohama Minatomi Rai. Tem must try food. Samurai Junjiro Channel Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In today's video, we'll wander about in Yokohama Minatomi Rai. We'll share with you 10 types of menu that will always be sold out for its popularity. In the end comes a great hit hamburger, so keep watching to find out more. Now, let's get started. We are headed to Yokohama city of Kanagawa prefecture, a neighbor of Tokyo. We've covered the people gathering food court in Yokohama before. Also, not to mention the video for ramen museum in Shin Yokohama, where you can compare and find your favorite ramen from different parts of Japan, as well as authentic Chinese street food strolling in Yokohama Chinatown are all available now. So make sure to check them out too. And having said that, we have arrived at today's target destination, Sakuragi Cho Station. It would take about 35 minutes by train if you were to travel from Tokyo Station. The area that lies in front of the station is Minato Mirai, which we would like to focus on today. It was in 2021 that a monorail for tourists came available. Since the area of Minato Mirai is facing towards the ocean, the site is known as a date spot for young people. There's an amusement park nearby, so it attracts families too. Let's get down to business and find street food around the area. The first shop that we'll introduce is located in the very front of the station. It's called Kitchen Joe's. It's a good old restaurant serving hybrid of Western and Japanese cuisine from 1978. People often choose hamburger steaks and pasta, but we decided a shot of this menu. This is omelette rice with demi-glace sauce on top. The sauce smells amazing! For its rice inside, a brand rice of Niigata Prefecture called Koshihikari is used. The egg of the omelet is both airy and simmering. It melts in your mouth. Abundant butter is used to create this sweet flavor. The ketchup rice has moderate acidity too. Love the crunch from onion and chicken. Moving on to this shop in the building right here. This is Yokohama Hammerhead, where terminal for cuisine ship and commercial facility are both combined. The place opened four years ago and quickly became one of the touristy spots. Out of 20 or more tenants, we picked the top four based on popularity. The first one being Ariake Harbor Studio. This is a shop run by a company that produces Yokohama Harbor, a classic confectionery of Yokohama. Here you can get your hands on freshly prepared Yokohama Harbor. You can eat it hot, which isn't the case if bought for souvenirs. The confectionery has moist touch with butter in Castella sponge cake. It has chestnut filling in the middle. The flavor of chestnut really spreads inside your mouth. It tastes sweet and rich. The shop also serves ice creams too. The ice cream is made with mixture of milk-flavored ice cream and crushed Yokohama Harbor. This is a limited menu that can only be eaten here. The sweetness from chestnut and milk-flavored ice cream goes super well together. The little crunchy mouthfeel of the Castella cake adds nice change in textures. Loving this ice cream absorbs butter cookies too. This is a must try for those chestnut lovers out there. Now, changing the subject to Kurumiko Factory. The place serves as both production and sale sites for Kurumiko, butter made desserts popular in Kanagawa Prefecture. 
In here, they sell some of the remnants produced when making Kurumiko in a cup. It sells out quickly by noon, so it's the best to reach the store by the starting hour of 11 a.m. This sweet is butter biscuit, sandwiching caramel in the middle. It's made with a lot of walnuts, so it has nice textures. The sweet biscuit and the bitter caramel go perfect together. It would pair perfectly with whiskey, so highly recommend you try it. And then to Misaki Donuts next. This is a donut shop with seven other sister shops within the prefecture. You see dozens to choose from, but let me check this donut out specifically. This is a donut with white chocolate and chocolate chip on top. I love how it comes with a small Oreo biscuit in the middle. Even in the dough of the donut, chocolate is needed. You really taste the flavor from cacao. It's sweet and lifts you up. Turning next to Yokohama Caramel Labo. This shop specializes caramel candies and it's been catching people's attention since you could try freshly made sweets in the store. There's countless to choose from, but we picked the one that could only be tried here. This is a cream puff. Around the puff is coated with caramel and crispy touch can be enjoyed. It has slight bitterness, made suitable for grown-ups too. Inside is filled with whipped cream and caramel. Whipped cream is sweet, but there's bitterness in caramel. So this is a go-to for those who are not so into sweets. The next shop can be found in this building here. This is Marine and Walk Yokohama with over 20 tenants within the site. The place opened in 2016 and has been the place to look around, attracting fashionistas. Here, we wanted to introduce you Pie Holic. The shop would form lines of people on weekends. You can dine in, but there are two go menus available too. We picked the number one sold pie. This is a beef meat pie. The pie layer is moderately salty with amazing aroma of butter. This crispy texture is addictive. Inside is packed with minced beef. It's tomato sauce flavored and has moderate acidity. The subtle flavor fills you up too. The Red Brick Warehouse is our next destination and this is one of the most visited spots within Minato Mirai. The place originally served as a warehouse to store goods from overseas over 150 years before. And now it's a commercial site with over 20 tenants inside. Let's check out three of the shops. The first one is Granny Smith. It's an apple pie shop with 10 other shops in Tokyo and Kanagawa regions. You can choose different kinds of apple pie, but we picked the one that can only be eaten here. This apple pie has mountains of almond and chocolate on top, then be served. You really catch the lovely smell from almond and butter. The apple is slightly acidic, but sweet too. It goes melting inside your mouth. I love the textures from the pie and almond. The next shop is called Milk Marche. The shop serves desserts that uses Hokkaido milk. There's ice creams and cakes, but we picked the popular gauflet, which is a thin layer of waffles with cream in between. This gauflet uses Hokkaido milk and butter as its ingredients. It's airy and chewy with natural sweetness coming from milk. The filling is salmon and cream cheese. Creamy cheese and salted salmon really bring the piece together. It's perfect for breakfast. The last shop we'll share is on the third floor. It's Shogun Burger. It's a hamburger shop made specifically with Wagyu Japanese beef 
and there are nine other shops around Japan. The shop is a regular place to be featured in TV and magazines. Today, we are trying out the most recommended hamburger of all. On toasted buns, a sauce is spread. The smell of the patty raises your appetite. The patty is placed on top of the buns and then served. This is the shop's specialty, a cheeseburger. The cheese smells fantastic. The bun's rich in smell of its main ingredient, the sauce made of mayonnaise, ketchup, and mustard, are placed for the flavor. The wagyu patty is made up of roughly minced meat and has moderate chewiness. The flavor really spreads in your mouth. What a subtle burger! If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.